to understand theory of relativity you have to understood there is no such thing in absolute motion or absolute rest object moving or rest are related to one another for example look at the track where two kids a and b are playing catch the track is moving constant speed of 40 km per hour but the kids a and b also moving 40 km per hour so with respect to a or s frame of reference b is standing still same thing apply for b's frame of reference when a throw the ball at 10 km per hour then a observe ball is moving at 10 km per hour towards b but for a stationary observer who is sitting in the road side he observe a is throwing ball at 50 km per hour it is because he add the track speed and the ball speed together in his frame of reference and similarly a observer from space observe the stationary observer and the track both are moving because earth is moving sun is moving and the galaxy is moving therefore nothing is in absolute rest or absolute motion it is relative to each other this is called classical relativity special theory of relativity the speed of light in vacuum is same for every observer or every frame of reference let imagine a beam of light is reflected in a set of mirror. Here the distance covered by the light in stationary observer frame of reference is d plus d equals to 2d. And another set of mirror is moving in comparable speed of light in right side. If a observer present inside the moving mirror box, he does not notice any difference because both of them have same speed in right side but for an outside or stationary observer the light beam is traveling a larger path in moving set of mirror as compared to the stationary set of mirror the speed of light must be same for moving set of mirror and the stationary set of mirror and the light beam must hit the bottom of mirror after the same amount of time has passed but the light wing in moving set of mirror is covering a longer distance as compared to the stationary set of mirror. Here 2D dash greater than 2D. Then how it possible? The only way it will work when the time for observer in moving set of mirror is passes slowly. Look at the clock where the moving observer clock is running much slower than the clock in stationary observer. Therefore the time for moving observer is passing slowly as compared to the stationary observer which allow the moving observer light beam to travel a greater distance look at it in this way. speed is equal to distance by time as stationary observer distance is more than the value of its time must be more here the moving observer one minute is actually longer than stationary observer one minute when you compare the two this means as fast as you move the time will slows down for you this is called time dilation this is a quite hard concept to understood so for understand theory of relativity stop thinking time is a fixed unit for everyone the time is also relative in fact time does not dilate enough to account the speed remains same for both observer something else happened length construction when object moving at speed of light not only time slows down but also the object construct this is called length construction so in this case moving observer mirror is actually smaller than we thought therefore the distance for the light has to travel is smaller than we thought in conclusion time and length dilation work together to remain the speed of light is same this is a very simple explanation of theory of relativity hope you should enjoy this video